Uh, well, this is the um, uh, first public performance of our production of Eight Songs for a Mad King by Peter Maxwell Davis. I have no idea how, how what, what the show is going to be like. I'm excited to see the uh, extended techniques at work and how they use only one person to tell the story. Well, it's a long time since I've seen it before. It's being done slightly differently this time. We have half the audience assembling outside and half the audience assembling inside. So two very different experiences for the audience and they swap. I hadn't visualised what I was going to see, so I've been a bit blown away really. I was in shock. Sometimes you just have to remember and tell yourself to breathe. Oh, it was amazing. I thought it was very encapsulating. I thought he engaged with the audience really, really well and intensive performance, but um, he kept that through the whole way through, so that was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, seeing his range, the different uh, techniques, cameras, yeah. and yeah, just jarring and harrowing. I thought that was as good a performance as you could hope to see. Crazy. <laughs> There's no other word for it. It's crazy. I'm actually really struggling to find the words to describe it. It's a very intense experience. It's quite tragic, actually. You feel deeply, deeply sorry for this person. Well, you really have to admire the artist for doing it twice in the one evening, particularly the singer. Just amazing.